it's big. We heard from all those people, it's big. Tell us how. Most of us tend to think it's just better phone service. What is it beyond that? So indeed there is better phone service, but more importantly it's better broadband service. So like in the previous introductions of 3G, 4G to 5G, um, we see increased broadband speeds. And what is exciting about 5G, it's actually not only that the speeds are much faster, to the point in fact where we see um, consumers more finding it difficult to distinguish between uh, the what is actually typically fixed versus in your home or in your office versus what you will experience on your on your mobile device. So this notion of fixed mobile conversions will happen and so it will no longer matter as much whether we have a fixed connection or a wireless connection and that will induce all sorts of industry interesting dynamics in the industry itself. If I may add, the, the part that's sort of often overlooked why 5G is so exciting is because it will inject capabilities into these networks like much lower latency, the time between mm -hmm. when the time talks to the network or just pinpointing our actual location with such greater uh, accuracy that the, the multitude of all of these capabilities being checked and will actually allow either existing applications or the kinds of things that an entrepreneurs think about today to actually create a whole uh, bunch of new exciting things. How much is it going to cost me if I run a telecommunications company to invest in 5G to make that conversion over? So that's interesting. That's a great question. Um, a lot of the people who look at 5G, oh, it's the, the more the naysayers, the pessimists, will look use this as an argument that this will cost a whole bunch of money. and in the first phase in particular, we're only getting a bit more speed that actually 4G kind of could do too. Mm -hmm. well, actually what they are missing is when you really dig deep how these 5G networks are going to be built, they will actually not put any additional strain on the telecom carrier's balance sheets. Mm -hmm. They can build these networks well within the CapEx envelopes that they're having today. If that's right, then why do we hear things like you heard the CEO from T-Mobile say, we've got to get together with Sprint. We've got to put T-Mobile together with Sprint in order to get this done. I assume that was because you needed more capital. Uh, a big part of that, of the answer, is also spectrum assets. So in order for 5G to actually work, you need a whole pool of spectrum assets that any individual carrier hardly has, unless you talk about sort of a, a certain part of the spectrum called millimeter, which Verizon has, uh, has a lot of. But in the lower bands, where it is actually economical to build these 5G networks, yes, a combined Sprint T-Mobile that would have the kind of spectrum assets that would allow them to build 5G at a quicker pace. When we break out, when Winners or losers. Uh, to me, I think regionally. For example, we just had a, a telecom company go public in Hong Kong. It was the biggest IPO in two years. They really needed the money because they needed uh, to build out their 5G network. Who, who's a winner? Who's a loser? Well, I think um, you can't sort of particular pick in any market a particular name and player. But what, what's very clear when you play the game board market by market around 5G, those who play on the more aggressive side, who go try to go first and actually use their balance sheet to build these networks, will be the one who are winning this game for the simple reason that customers will appreciate the latest network and the best product and so you will see actually good returns versus waiting and see what your competition does. So there is a substantial first mover uh, uh, advantage here. No, you no, got to be first in. No question. There is a first mover advantage. Uh, I think the economics and the individual game boards in the telecom markets are such that if you hold back you, there is a, you, you may save capital in the interim, but you have a significant price to pay uh, later down the road as your competition moves away from you.